Africa's most populous country went to the polls today to choose a new president. Nigeria's election should have taken place weeks ago, but was delayed because of the threat posed by Boko Haram militants. Well, today, another big hitch, forcing authorities to extend voting into tomorrow. Anna Cunningham has the details from Lagos. For the incumbent, President Goodluck Jonathan casting his own vote did not go smoothly. Election officials scrambled to read his voter card. His main rival, the former military ruler Mohamedou Bahari, voted with no problems. But across the country, there have been widespread issues with the new electronic system designed to curb voting fraud. If I tried almost two or three times, they say I'm fell. At the end, they give me uh, Eliza to wash hands thereafter have now passed. But the problems haven't kept voters away. People have been lining up at polling stations like these right across Nigeria since early morning, eager to vote. Here in Lagos, an ethnically and religiously diverse city, tensions have been high. There are multiple military checkpoints and police searches. In the southeast, homemade bombs exploded in a car and others were defused by the military. In the northeast, at least seven people died in suspected Boko Haram gun attacks on several polling stations. And late last night, suspected militants beheaded 23 people and set fire to homes in a village in the northeast of Borno State. It was hoped that this election could be free, fair and peaceful. But as voting moves into a second day, the tension continues. Anna Cunningham, CBC News, Lagos, Nigeria.